Hey, what's up, Funk Fam, and uh, my 30-day challenge uh, participants. Hope you guys are all doing well. Um, congratulations to those of you that have been um, being really consistent with the 30-day challenge and um, committing to the uh, the guidelines that were set out. Um, I've gotten some good feedback from uh, from multiple people at the gym, you know, about weight loss, about feeling better, sleeping better. So, hopefully, you've seen some benefit um, from your hard work over the past 30 days. Uh, remember, this week, the focus is on cooking for yourself, right? Um, oftentimes, when we eat out at restaurants, even if we're eating clean ingredients, we don't always know what the restaurant is using um, to cook their food in, whether it's processed oils um, or what sort of additives or natural flavorings or artificial flavorings or things like that that they use in their sauces. So um, cooking for yourself at home is a surefire way to um, make sure that you're getting exactly what you want because um, you know exactly what's going into it. So that's the challenge for this week, some healthy recipes. Um, cooking at home, just trying to be consistent with that so you can build habits there. Um, and then we're almost done with the 30 days. Um, we are going to do the 24 hour fast again on the last day of our 30 days. So that'll be the uh, kind of the finisher for our 30 day challenge, another 24 hour fast. Um, if you did, you know, 16 or 18 the first time, maybe trying to push for that 20 or 24 hour mark. And if you handled 24 hours, no problem, the first go around. Uh, maybe considering pushing it to uh, 36. If you're, you're eating mid-morning and then not eating again until dinner the next night. So um, either is fine, just just uh, pushing you to be a little bit more consistent with fasting um, just because we you know the, the health benefits for it. So awesome job. Thank you guys so much and uh, I look forward to hearing from you guys.